take some aggression out on someone. Totally. Hello everybody and welcome back to another development showcase. Today we are finally releasing the Fire Alarm script. For those of you who are just coming to the channel for the first time, the Fire Alarm script has been in development for a very, very long time, relatively, and the resource itself has been through several, several rewrites, but it is finally in a suitable state to release to the public. So in this video, I'm just going to be showcasing exactly what is in the resource. Uh, most of this will be recapping what has been shown in the past in the other development showcases I've done on the resource. However, there's a couple of new things I will be going over, so let's get straight into it. Out of the box, the resource comes with one location set up and ready to go, and that is the Mission Road Police Station. The resource comes with two JSON files, one for manual call points and one for control panels, and that allows you to add more locations. All you need to do to do that is use the objects resources included in the download to input the coordinates of the objects for them to spawn in the world. So this object you can see on the wall here is the manual call point used in the resource. Each manual call point needs to be linked up with a control panel. There's no limit on how many call points you can have to a control panel. However, you can only have one control panel to a building. To activate the alarm, all you need to do is get up close to the button and press your E key. As you can hear, the alarm has now sounded and it is quite loud. You can see here that once the alarm has been sounded and you interact with the control panel by getting up nice and close and pressing E, you have a screen that informs you what type of alarm has gone off, in this case a fire, and to proceed we need to acknowledge the alarm. It now tells you that the alarm was activated by a manual call point. I've just silenced the alarms there for my own sanity. So you can see here on the control panel that we have two indicators, the fire alarm indicator and the AC power indicator. The AC power indicator will remain on always, however the fire alarm indicator is only on when an alarm has been activated. Once you've globally acknowledged your alarm, you can do what I did which was silence the alarms by pressing the alarm silence button, or you can do a system reset, or both. You're also free to close the panel at any time by pressing escape, walking off, doing whatever it is you need to do, and then going back to the panel. While the alarms are silenced, if a pull station is pulled, the alarm will reactivate. And it will be taken back to the fire alarm screen. Once you're happy and you're ready to reset the panel, hit the system reset button located below the AC power indicator. This will disactivate the fire alarm indicator and reset the panel. The screen you're looking at now is the panel you will see during normal operation, i.e. when a fire alarm is inactivated. To access the panel you'll need a four digit pin code set in the server file. In this case the password is very secure. One, two, three, four. Once you've entered the correct password you'll be taken to the home screen. To access the menu, hit the menu button. Once in the menu Use the previous and next buttons to navigate. The menu contains four options. Announce test, reset all manual alarm call points, announce all clear, and relock panel. Announce all test plays the following message. We are now testing the fire alarm system. Please disregard all signals and instructions until further notice. The announce all clear plays this message. Attention please. The building emergency has ended. An all clear has been given. Please resume normal activities. 
the reset all manual alarm call points is more of a backup feature in case something bugs out. And all that does is, on the back end, reset all the pool stations to an off state. And finally, the relock panel does exactly what it sounds like and relocks the panel. For demonstration purposes, I'll just show you that without the correct code, you cannot get into the panel. This is more so an anti-troll feature than anything else, but it is there nonetheless. Something you would have noticed in the introductory clip is that the further away from the source of the alarm you are, the quieter it gets. How far away you are to hear the alarm can be set in the configuration keeping in mind that the source of the alarm is the control panel. Another feature is that when inside of a vehicle, the alarm is dampened, as it would be in real life. Please note, however, that this does not apply to bicycles and motorbikes. And that's all folks, thank you very much for watching. Thank you to everyone who's been waiting for this resource to come out for a while. I appreciate it's been quite a long wait, admittedly longer than it should have been, but it is out now nonetheless, and I really, really hope that you enjoy it, and I hope it was worth the wait. You can find the download in the description below. As always, thank you very much to our alpha testers for helping us test this resource. Wouldn't be able to do it without them. If you need help with the resource at all, make sure to check the wiki, create an issue on GitHub, or if none of those work, please feel free to contact us on our Discord, link in the description. If you haven't done so already, make sure to check out our new website, inferno-collection.com, where you can find our roadmap, where you can see what we've been up to and what we plan on doing next. On a side note, YouTube Statistics tells us that 99% of the people viewing this video right now are not subscribed, so if you'd like to see more uh, Inferno Collection resources, if you'd like to stay up to date on when we release new stuff, new development showcases like this one, make sure to subscribe. Uh, we're coming up to 100 subscribers, which is awesome. I plan on doing a small question and answer session on the Discord once we hit 100 subscribers. Haven't yet decided if that will be recorded or not, most likely not, so if you're interested, make sure to join the Discord and keep an eye out for the notification. Other than that, thank you for watching, thank you to everyone who's been supporting us on our Discord, and other than that, we hope you enjoy the resource, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.